You got mail today. Consider yourself lucky. The U.S. Postal Service telling us that all downtown routes felt the effects of the, the weather and the pandemic, but the failures inside Chicago's postal hub go back months. Now a political powerhouse calling for the postmaster general in Chicago to step down. CBS 2's Chris Tye is always investigating. He broke the news of an internal investigation into Chicago's mail on Monday. Chris, what do we know now? So, Brad and Erica, it was a CBS2 investigation that first alerted Congressman Bobby Rush to this problem in the first place. He called for an internal investigation by the post office into four dysfunctional branches on the south side. That report came out at the beginning of the month calling for the termination of postal workers who failed to show up to work. Rush says from an accountability standpoint, that's not nearly enough, saying the firings need to go all the way up the local post office food chain. Postmaster Prater resigned immediately. Wanda Prater is Chicago's postmaster. Her department getting stamped with scathing reviews. We don't deserve the type of treatment that we're getting in Chicago. This summer's investigation into these four Southside branches came back with failing report cards. Over 62,000 pieces of delayed mail, over 18,000 non-deliveries, and 53 delivery vehicles found unlocked. The Inspector General report came loaded with pictures of these unlocked trucks and cart after cart of non-delivered mail. What it did not include was a call for changes in management, despite finding management at all four stations did not accurately report delayed mail. It's time for a change. It's not the Pony Express days anymore. But days like today still feel like it. We've reached almost two weeks with no mail. And Ramona Schwartz Johnston tried getting in touch with her Logan Square branch just this morning. The phone rang for four or five times, then it was picked up and hung up. And so I just did that for a half an hour just to see what would happen. Her kids' Valentine's Day home crafts were ordered three weeks ago. The post office telling her they're still in a truck somewhere. With others waiting on medicine and paychecks, she knows others are worse off. But what she doesn't know, whether firing the local boss will solve the problem. I don't know if a change in leadership is the right way to go or if it really is about a change in leadership and also process. And we asked to speak with the Chicago Postmaster today. A spokesperson declined that request. We will continue to ask for that interview in coming days and weeks. And by the way, they said that what they're doing is focusing on the recommendations from that report, which call on making sure they accomplish all of their daily checklists and their delivery metrics. Chris Tide, CBS2 News.